Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different than my usual videos and I'm going to be showing you, guys, showing you guys how to hand knit a headband. Hand knitting is actually really easy and um, it's kind of, in my opinion, it's better than like regular knitting or crocheting because um, for one thing I just thought of this this morning when I was planning on making this video that um you can take it on a plane because I don't think you're allowed to have knitting needles because yeah on a plane so yeah um it's kind of easier to take with you but I just think it's easier in general so yeah and a headband is kind of the easiest thing to make for hand knitting so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do so today I'm going to be using um, for this head, since the headband, I don't need a lot of yarn, but I'm going to be using this, um, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called Just Chenille, um, from, I think that's how you say it, I don't, I don't really remember what it's called, but it's from the dollar store, and obviously it's $1.25, because it's from the dollar store, makes sense, um, but yeah, it's nice and soft, I like it, um, and yeah, this is what we're going to be using. I'm using pink, they also have purple, and I think some other colors. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today. Let's get right into this. So the first thing you're going to do is find the end of your yarn. Here's mine. You have to move because, um, for the camera. But yeah, so then we're going to take our yarn. If you're left-handed, I'm doing it the right-hand way because I'm right-handed. But if you're left-handed, just do it the opposite. Like, as you can see, I've got my yarn here. I'm going to be making a loop. If you're left-handed, you'll put the yarn, I have my yarn on the right side, of my left side, I mean, sorry. But you're going to want to have your yarn on the left side of you and make your loop like this, just opposite, so, so you can do it with your left hand. But yeah, so we're going to go like this. You're going to, like, I think your yarn, you're going to leave a little, about a couple inches, depends on what. So it doesn't really matter. Um, sometimes for different projects, you would make different lengths. But yeah. Yeah, we're just going to do our loop like that. And then we're going to take that loop right there. And if I can do this, you're going to take your yarn. Go in so you have the loop. Then you go... Pull out the yarn, and like that. So we're going to make our first chain, and that means we're going to go, I like making mine small because you can make loose stitches or tight stitches like this, but yeah, so that I moved it on my right arm, my right finger I mean, and I'm just taking the yarn again, and pulling it through, the little loop. I'll do it again. So, putting it, I like putting my finger in. You take the yarn. Also, never, one more thing. Never work with the little. You always want to make sure um, you work with your working yarn, which is the one connected to the yarn ball thing. Never use the little strand there. The tail. So, yeah. Just take that. Put the yarn through the loop, pull it a little, and then you're going to keep doing this. Go put your yarn through, and then pull. It's pretty easy, and we're just going to keep doing this until you make a chain that can go wrap around the side of your head. Also, by the way, you can, um, you can make this into a bracelet. Like, nice little, I don't know, bracelet. And if you just make it, make, stop doing it, just stop your chain at, until it can go around your waist. I mean, not your waist, your wrist. I can't stop today. So, yeah. Once it can go around your necklace, just whatever you want it to go around, just, um, yeah. Just keep doing it until it can wrap around there okay so i've made my chain 
and I'm going to make it for my cousin that's visiting us for Memorial Day next week. Um, but yeah. Also, by the way, you can make a scarf out of this. I just forgot to say that, except maybe don't use the yarn that's, I think, a little bigger skein of yarn. But yeah, you can make the same concept. You can use any yarn you want to do any of this, but yeah. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, so then we're going to go... I'm going to go closer. Um, alright. So this is... Ugh, hold on. So I just ended on this chain, to the chain, and I am taking this little, I'm going to go, see this is the chain that we're in, I'm going to pull that so it doesn't, so we're going to take this, so you can see, um, this is the loop that we're in. And so this is the one we're in. We're going to go on to the next one. As you can see, this is one. This is the second one. And it's going to have two little mini loops. They all have two mini loops, and there's a bottom loop. It'll get more. It'll be more once we go along. But yeah, we're going to go on to... So this is the one we're in. Then it gives you this little knot here. We're going to go into this one and pull the yarn through. This is kind of what hand knitting is all about. So then we have two mini loops. Not mini, but yeah, two loops. And then after that, we're going to pull the yarn through those. And we're going to do that again with the next loop. So this is the one we're in. Then we're going to go on to the next one. Bring the yarn under. Because we have two loops, you always want to make sure you have two loops instead of one because then it will not work. Then we'll have two, we have two loops here. Then we go and pull the yarn through. Next one. Here's the one we're in. As you can see, we're making a nice little thick-ish design there. We're going on to the next one. We have two little things, loops here. Pull it through. And then we go pull the yarn through. And we're going to keep doing this until we get all the way to the end of the chain. Okay, so I just did the whole row. And, yeah. We're going to... I can make this thicker. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So, yeah. Alright, first off, you can... If you want to keep going and make this even thicker, then all you have to do is just... So, as you can see, we've been working like this. We're going to go flip it, and then you just flip it over, so that means all of this work that you've done is now on this side, the left side. Of course, if you're doing left-handed, then it'll be on the right side, and yeah. And then, then you might, oh yeah, you also have to turn your loop that you're using. But then, just to make it a little easier to work with, kind of, <laughs> to make it like thicker, well, it'll help you. Just trust me. Just do two loops. So you have to go through the loop twice. And then you just go on to do what you've been doing the whole row, the whole, well, the whole time. And then you just start the brand new row by going into the next loop. Next. And you just keep. And then you just do. The same thing over and over again. And yeah, and then once you get to the other side, do the same thing, flip the flip it, then go on to the um do the two loops and then keep going on. Okay, so now we're gonna be ending it and um I made it this thick and yeah. Also, by the way, if you want to make a scarf, then it's really easy to do that. Um, all you gotta do is just end it. So you're gonna want to cut off your yarn. Just leave, maybe leave a little space here. Um, and then you're gonna go make another loop. And then you're gonna go back in there. And it's gonna, since your thing is cut off, um, you're gonna go back into it. And just pull it through. And that'll make it, it'll end it.
But yeah, I'm making a headband, so yeah. Make a headband and keep watching. Actually, hold on, never mind, my bad. We're actually doing the same thing, so yeah. Take your scissors and just cut. See, I made a loop. I pull the yarn through. And yeah, instead of like, hold on. I went like this. Yeah, I just showed you how to do it. And then I just pull it all the way through, so yeah. Okay, now we're gonna connect the two so we can actually make a headband. So to do that, we're gonna make, like, let's bring them up together, two ends. Now, other people have different ways of doing this, but I like weaving the two in together. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in like this. Take, I have like the two strands of both ends, on both ends right there. And I'm going to take it and pull it through one of the holes. Like, these are both my tails. Um, the one from the beginning and one from the end. And I'm just going to weave them in together. Same thing, I can use both of these. Um, just so they can both connect. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom here. And bring it through one of the holes. I'm going to do these, this until I run out of string. And they're both connected. All hand knitting is pretty freestyle, but this part especially is just tying knots and connect it basically. There's really no right one way to do it as long as you tie the thing together. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun. Also, by the way, you should cut these at the end once you're done weaving. But yeah, um, it looks pretty cute and nice and delicate. You can make a small one for a baby. And it'll look really cute. Yeah, and I hope you guys like this. Bye!